Yeah, three-year-old and 15-month-old. So I'm planning to try to minimize how much exposure they have to social media until... How? I know. So balance is what we really want because we do know... Amish. They're going to be Amish. They're going to be Amish. <laughs> right. Exactly. I'm going to just put them inside a room with no one isolation entirely. I think we're starting to get better because I think actually films like this really highlight the problem with um, a lack of mindfulness with our devices. So I'm hoping that there's going to be more of a culture of mindfulness. I know we talk a lot about with parents, you have to tell your kids to put their phone in the same spot every day when they get home from school while they're doing homework. And it all needs to be charged in the same spot, not in their bedroom. They need to wake up with an alarm clock, not their phone. No, no phones in the bedroom. And, and it is a problem because parents didn't grow up with this technology. So there's a real generational divide. Um, and parents have to, unfortunately, get up to speed, even if they don't want to, because the kids know so much more. It's so sort of intuitive to them. They learn really quickly. And it's a really hard part-time job for parents. But I do think that's part of it, is you have to take on and own that part-time job and know about Snapchat and know about the updates and know about everything that's going on so that you can help your kids. This is kind of unforeseen that the parents haven't been through something that they can help their kids with. They're kind of on their own to figure this out. We need to help them.